Hi, my lovely Trilobites and Fossil fam. This is my third attempt at filming with this belly. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. The, I have the footage of an elf blush gone wrong. Um, this eyeball is currently unhappy with me because I missed my eyeball. Or no, I didn't miss my eyeball. I went to put this on and it went straight into my contact lens all over my contact lens and I took it out and I rinsed it off and I put it back in and now this eyeball is just kind of permanently purple. So we're not having the greatest <laughs> the greatest time with this. And this is the, the Mario lipstick. This is the, it is Forest Hills. It looks like this. Doo -doo -doo. It looked better before I put it on, obviously. We're going to blot it out so it's not so purple and go from there and we're, we're gonna try a different blush because the other blush they are very very pigmented and it did not go well for me and yes I'm wearing a Bucky's t-shirt because I can't adult today but I haven't done any powder and my eyeballs like <coughs> kind of twitching in its socket so there's been some new releases and I really think the Moira multi-chromes I think ColourPop just like decided to dupe these from last summer. Not that companies don't like dupe, them, dupe themselves all the time, but I really think they are because I really, I mean, these are already really, really good formula. I don't, I mean, I guess ColourPop just wanted to jump on the bandwagon with it, but I wore these to a four-year-old's birthday party at a water park in July of last year and they stayed on. That That's me not drawing in a straight line. And they actually like survived. They stayed on. Like four year old water park birthday party. It was horrific. I would have rather had a root canal. Luckily my friends don't know this channel exists so I can literally say that. Which is, well I say that anyway because I have no filter. But these are the Moira ones. I think I have a fifth one but I don't know where I put it. And isn't this like the trend where you're supposed to put some like super crazy color in like your lower under eye, like blue or purple? I mean, at this point, I already have purple eyeshadow, not eyeshadow. I have purple mascara already in my eyeball. So I don't really see how I could screw this up even further. But we can always give it the good old college try. So I tried the Rare Beauty uh, thingy. And I'm like, this reminds me of something. And I couldn't, it took me a, a little bit to remember what it reminded me of. I should have put powder on first. The Rare Beauty reminds me of the Twilight Spray from Lush and the, um, the Lush Sleep Collection. It's really reminiscent of that. So if you have like the Twilight Spray from Lush, it, I think it's like, it smells almost identical. So... There's that, in case you were wondering. Um, that, I think, is almost... They smell the same to me. I probably should have put powder on before doing this. But oh well, here we are. My cataracts are the size of an SUV. I need them removed. I might just be on the inside of my eyeball right now. Oh well. It's like the really, really dark one, and it went horribly, horribly wrong. It was way more pigmented than I thought, which is why we're now putting it on the back of our hand before we put it straight on the face. I'm putting it on the back of my hand. And yes, I cleaned my brush because, and then I'm gonna pick it up on the back of my hand so I don't make a disaster like I did the first time. Because it was so pigmented, not this color, it was the other color, which scares me and I don't wanna use it. So we're going to this other one, which is called something. This is Dusty Rose. But I have learned to put it on the back of my hand and not straight on my face. Because putting it straight on my face created a massive, massive problem for me. So this way I can like blend it out and not get as much. And I think if you read the directions, most people don't read the directions. Like even the Rare Beauty ones, I think you're supposed to put on the back of your hand and then do this. Like you're not supposed to just straight face it either because it just, it's, they're so pigmented. Even then, I still think I might have, like, extra on here. So this is, like, the one of the lighter ones, putting it on the back of my hand, then putting it on. I totally have mascara on my contact lens, and I can't see it out of the eyeball. 
it's awesome for me. But I really do like these Makeup by Mario lipsticks, and um, I really, really, really do like this palette. This is like I could, you know, this is like such a basic. Like I could, I could do this for work. This is great. Like this might actually live in my office because this is so idiot proof to blend out even when you get mascara stuck in your contact lens that it's like a easy look. For me personally, I would like something a lot more shiny um, out like outside of a work setting. Yeah, and I do have an affiliate code with Natasha Denona and it's Beaker in all caps. So I'm like, you, I guess now you have to verbally disclose with every video that you may or may not be affiliated or whatnot. So we're just covering our FTC bases. But yeah, that other blush um, bested me and I there was like nothing I could do about it. It totally, I am obsessed with this powder. I am like, I am obsessed with this powder. I cannot even. So we're hoping third time is a charm with this. And I really do like, I don't own the full size of this palette, so I don't, I can't really compare it to that. I only own the full size yucca palette. Yeah, because yucca is like a plant and yucca is a place, I believe. So, yeah, okay. But do you want to hear something horrifying besides the fact that I've done this makeup look like three times and I keep taking showers? Um, my niece texted me. <clears throat> God, what is wrong with my voice? My niece texted me and um, she was, she's like a tween. No, well, she's a teenager, but like barely a teenager. She texted me from a very large beauty store. And um, I just flipped it over. Informed me, she texted me and she was like, sent me a photo of a product that was, again, I like tap everything off. Um, a product that she does not need to be using at her age and I'm and I'm like no 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 you do not need to buy a one you know 120 whatever dollar cream for TikTok like the, you're you're no and so I responded because she's like well my parents told me to buy this we're all here so me being the awesome aunt that I am and she knows I'm a scientist and everything and so we're we're good I just responded with Google, I said Google face chemical burns and go to images. That's it. One sentence. One sentence. Five minutes go by, crickets. Then she texts me back and she goes, my friends are morons. I'm going to buy Legos. And I'm like, yes! So excited. Like, yes! It was an awesome moment. It, it seemed to work out you know, really, really well, but it does start a whole conversation of, you know, what you should be using at what age, are there even age restrictions on these chemical products, um, and my niece is translucent jellyfish like myself, and I'm like, oh, with a lot of allergies, which our whole family is plagued with massive allergies, so we're not surprised there, but I'm like, oh, no, 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 like, you don't need to that would be a disaster. Like, no, 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 no. So, luckily, crisis averted, and she's back to Legos. I think this is one of my best purchases of last year. This is the House Labs Concealer Under Eye Brush. This is awesome. Is it very similar to the Sigma one? Not really, when I put them next to each other, which I got this one at Marshalls for like four bucks, so I don't know. This one, totally worth it. But I will insert some of the footage of my blush horror and um, pretty much everything that went wrong. Yeah, I think the Moira ones are, are just fine. So if you already own the Moira ones, I don't think you need the new ColourPop ones. Um, if I see them in store, I might like swatch them. And these are water, I don't think this is coming off, actually. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. These... Okay. Um. These won't come off. They're, they're, they're like really, okay, a little bit came off, but I think, no, I'm not. These are really on there. Um, so, it's an alternative. 
anyway, that's it for me. I'll insert the footage of my epic fails, and you have a great one. Okay. <laughs> like, some expire every four years, but you need to make sure that you're, oh, gosh, what? I have made a very bad life decision right now. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, do we just get it, like, at this point? Are we just going to go for it? Um, I'm just going to, okay. Mistakes have been made.